Hey what's up guys, it's Kevitu. Today I wanted to make a quick guide to showing you guys how to play on stretch resolution. And I also wanted to show you guys both the resolution that I use as well as some that I recommend playing on. Now if you find this video helpful at all, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it's the best way that you can help me out. Um, so firstly I just want to kind of talk about why people use stretch resolution and why you see it so often. So I see a lot of people using it mainly because they see pros using it or streamers using it and they want to have the same resolution as them. Now for myself, I find stretch resolution more comfortable to play on. I've played a lot of games before I've played Apex and in those I've always played on a stretch resolution so it just feels more comfortable for me. And apart from that, it gives you much higher frame rates, it makes enemy player models really easier to see because they're wider. And unlike a game like Valorant or Counter-Strike, which has a low locked FOV, Apex has such a high FOV that you're not really sacrificing anything by using it. Um, so I just want to put it out there that you don't need stretch resolution. You might think that uh, it's the best thing to use because a lot of pros use it, but you might personally play a lot better on 16.9 or just a regular resolution. So it's more about finding what you're comfortable playing on more so than what's optimal. But if you've never tried a stretch resolution, I totally think you should give it a try and hopefully this video can help you do that. Now, it's a really easy process and the first step starts just by pressing the start button, typing in the NVIDIA control panel. Now within here, we're just gonna click on change resolution and at the bottom hit on customize. Now you can see here, I have a bunch here. These are all the custom resolutions I have, um, but you probably won't have any here. Now you're gonna to have to check this box that says enable resolutions not exposed by this display and then click on create custom resolution. Now the process for adding a custom resolution is very simple. You just type the horizontal pixels and the vertical lines and the refresh rate and hit test and hit OK and apply. Um, now I'm going to show you how to set one resolution, but the process is going to be exactly the same for adding more. All you're going to do is just change the numbers around and you can add as many custom resolutions as you want. So firstly, I think a good one to show you guys is 1680 by 1050. Now, this is a really common resolution seen by top players. It's a 1610 stretch resolution, and it's very similar in visual quality to 1080p, it's just slightly smaller. And you're probably currently using 1080p, so this is a one I recommend if you're currently using like 1080p and you wanna try stretched, this is a great one to try, as it will look very similar. So all you're gonna do is just type in 1680 in the horizontal pixels and under vertical lines, type in 1050. Now for refresh rate, just put it on the highest that your monitor supports, so mine is 360, so I just put 360 there. And once you're done, just hit test. Now I already have this resolution, so it's just gonna say custom resolution already exists, so I don't need to do anything. But if you don't have this one, your screen's gonna go black a couple times, and then it's gonna be like, are you okay with these settings? Just hit okay, and you should see it show up in your list. And you should see it here also under custom. Now, uh, as you can see, I do have a bunch of other ones. And yeah, I just recommend maybe adding a few of them and trying them. So if you want the exact resolutions that I personally use, I switch between 1920 by 1080, which is just standard 69, and 1680 by 1050, which is the one I just showed you. I also use 1728 by 1080 and 1440 by 900. And I recommend just adding some resolutions and testing them in Apex, just to find which one you like using the best. Some will give you more frame rate, some will give you less, some will look better, some won't look as good, some will feel better, some won't feel as good. So it's all about finding what's comfortable. Um, so here's the list of resolutions that I have set. You don't have to copy them all, but I think it's worth giving at least a couple of them a try. So next up, once you're done with this, just hit OK. And you're gonna to need to go to um, adjust desktop size and position under display. Now under scaling, we're just gonna check full screen. Uh, it'll probably be on aspect ratio from before. Then you're just gonna hit apply. And then that's it. So after this, you need to actually find the resolution that you actually want to use. So boot up Apex just like normal, and just go into the firing range. Once you're in game, go into your settings and video. And if you go into 1610, you'll notice there's a bunch more options here than there were before. So this will show up with every option that you have added basically. Now, I recommend going through each of these and finding which one you like the best. So for example, I may be liking 1720 by 1080 like this is a really nice resolution it's very like visually crisp you know it looks very similar to 1080p but i get my frame rate isn't as good as i would get on a lower res so i can try maybe uh 1440 by 900 this is the one that i personally use probably the most as you can see my frame rate is so much higher uh, but it doesn't look as nice it doesn't look as clear 
Uh, so it's basically just finding the one you like, right? So once you've found one you like, so let's say for example, 16.8 by 10.50, that's the one I've settled on, you know, I've tested it and I want to use this one, right? It's really easy how you actually set this now. So all you need to do is just close Apex, go onto Steam, right click your game, go properties, and in here are your launch options. You're simply just going to add at the start of your launch options, dash width or dash W space 1680 and dash H space 1050 space 1050 space. Um, and it will look like this. If you already have a width height set, get rid of it and just place a new one and just set the numbers to whichever resolution you're using. So if I'm using 1440 by 900, that's how I would use it. Um, it's just like that. Super easy. Yeah, you just all you need to do is just change the numbers here to the ones that you're going to use. And that's basically it. Once you boot up Apex, it should be using the resolution that you have set in game as long as you have that custom resolution set. And that's uh, basically it. Uh, please let me know if you found this video useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Let me know what kind of resolutions you guys use, actually, because I'm very curious about that. Uh, like I said, personally, I use 1440 by 900. If you want to see the rest of my specs and my sayings and stuff, there'll be a link in the description to my specs.gg. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you, and I will see you guys in the next video.